An historic announcement made in Johnstown today. Conema Health System will be bought out by a southern-based for-profit healthcare system affiliated with Duke University. It was a packed atrium at Conema Memorial Medical Center this morning as hundreds of doctors and nurses lined the railings of each floor waiting for an announcement that's been speculated on for weeks. Our Maria Miller is live outside of the hospital with more on what this all means to our area. Maria? Well, Lindsay, this is certainly an announcement that may come as a surprise to some, but I think it's more of an answer to the many rumors and the speculation that have been going around now for months. Today, we learned that Duke LifePoint Healthcare has plans to acquire Conma Health System. That means they'll be 100% owner here. Now, they told me they don't have any plans on changing the name, but they do, however, have plans to help the current system expand and thrive for years to come. A system like Conema, with all of the advanced clinical services that you provide today, uh, now has access to the resources of a top 10 academic medical center. How exciting is it that a partner is coming to invest in big town medicine in small town America? While the agreement is not yet finalized, the plan is for Conema Health System to be purchased by Duke LifePoint Healthcare, a network that will acquire all three of Conema's hospitals in Johnstown, Minersville, and Myersdale, as well as the outpatient centers and Conema Physician Group practices. As part of the agreement, Duke says it will invest half a billion dollars in the first 10 years with new construction already planned. An ambulatory surgical facility in Richland, all kind of outpatient facilities along with it, major construction, probably in the 30, 40, 50 million dollar range. Uh, Evansburg Medical Home collapsing all of our locations into one location, preparing to make outpatient convenient and easy for our patients. So, uh, affiliation is going to give us the money we need to compete against basically any health provider in the region. It's a partnership many have speculated on for months and something employees may have worried about. But with the rapid changes in health care, Dr. William Fritz says it's a partnership Conma needed to survive. Hospitals are going to need lots of things like computer systems, integrated clinical systems, a lot of things that are very expensive. And it's going to be hard for small health systems to provide them to their communities. But with scale, with, with a big partner like this, we can do it. Now, because Duke LifePoint is a for-profit company, it'll be the first time the Conma Health System uh, will be contributing to the tax base. That's directly helping the local economy. We're going to have much more on this deal coming up at 6. For now, reporting live in Johnstown, Maria Miller, 6 News. Thanks for joining us. Conema Health System, the Johnstown's area's largest employer, has agreed to be acquired by a for-profit company. Conema's board of directors announced today that Duke LifePoint is taking over. Officials told us the Conema name won't be changed and no layoffs are planned. Duke LifePoint has promised to invest half a billion dollars into the system over the next decade. Maria Miller is live outside of Memorial Medical Center tonight. She has more with the details. Maria? Well, Lindsay, Duke University Health System is ranked as one of the top 10 hospitals in the country, but so is University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. And while UPMC doesn't have as much of a presence here in Johnstown as it did in the past, there are still several clinics here. And of course, UPMC just took over Altoona Regional a couple months ago. So it's a network that many people in the region are already affiliated with. But hospital leaders told me today that they're not worried about the competition. Duke Life Point is a venture of Duke University Health System, one of the top 10 hospitals in the country. They're fervent about their basketball down here, Cameron Crazies, but I'll tell you this, okay, they're even more fervent and they're even more passionate about health care. That excites me. I knew immediately we had a great fit here. All jokes aside, though, Duke and Pitt are not only new rivals on the court, they're rivals in health care. Now coming into Pitt territory, where many patients are aligned with UPMC. It all starts here, and if you, if you work it that way, you start here and you work out. And competition's good. Competition's good for everybody. We have good competition. You know what? It helps people. While the agreement is not yet final, Duke Life Point has promised to invest half a billion dollars into the region, money that will help expand services and patient care. We're going to be able to stay here. I think this commitment now will enable people that live in our area to stay here for the treatments and for the medical care that they, they would look forward to. I don't think you're going to have to leave this valley for health care for almost anything. That's what I believe is going to happen as a result of this. We are an important resource to this community, by far the largest employer. We want to keep it going, and we want to be great for Johnstown and the West Central Pennsylvania region. 
Now, the deal here is expected to be finalized later this year, probably in the fall, but hospital officials want patients to know that nothing will change or affect their services or care during the transition process. And again, they're expecting no layoffs. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News. And more details now on that acquisition. Unlike Connemaw Health Systems, Duke LifePoint is a for-profit company. Now that means once deal is done, the hospital will contribute to the tax base, something local leaders say should have a big impact. Time will tell, but uh, uh, it's a for-profit hospital paying taxes for the city of Johnstown, Cambria County. And it looks like it's gonna benefit the entire region. It's not clear at this point what the tax contribution to the area will be.